Hello technicians, gamers, and achievement hunters. This is Technician Gamer here, and normally what I bring to this channel, something mainly related to strange music, you know, when it comes to the artists and upcoming releases, and then of course tours and any other miscellaneous things, um, and then as well as gameplay videos of games that I like to play and also achievements. But I wanted to talk something a little bit different but that is related to the gaming community, but also the music industry. And that is Eminem and his new album that we know he is working on and a potential release date that I think we might just see at the end of this year, as it also ties, may also tie into uh, the Call of Duty World War II that is releasing on November the 3rd. So getting into this, Call of Duty has had a history of releasing trailers, uh, with Eminem's music in it. Uh, we can go all the way back to um, Modern Warfare 2 as Till I Collapse was in the trailer. Uh, Black Ops 1 we had Won't Back Down. And then the latest one was Call of Duty Ghosts and the track Survival was featured. Uh, and then now if some of you didn't know uh, that when Eminem was releasing his Marshall Mathers LP2 is that Activision worked with him and GameStop to release Call of Duty Ghosts with a digital download code for the price tag of $8.99, which is a few dollars cheaper than the actual album that you can get you know, over on iTunes. But uh, Activision's chief marketing advisor, Tim Ellis, had reported that they definitely would like to work with these two brands, quote-unquote, in the future. Uh, now, granted that that was almost several years ago, back in November of 2013, when that statement uh, was released, um, and Call of Duty in the state that it was, and especially with last year with Infinite Warfare, I think maybe if Eminem plans to release his next album this year, that he may in fact partner again with Activision, and then might releasing yet another single, you know, that ties into uh, and kind of fits the Call of Duty and promoting, you know, this next title. Um, now going back to Eminem for another moment, back on October 19th of 2016 of last year, he had taken to social media and said, you know, don't worry, I'm working on an album. Here's something meanwhile. And then he released his campaign speech, which was an eight minute mind bending, but brilliant freestyle in my opinion. Other than that, we haven't heard a word on the album. Uh, as I've looked at his social media the last few months and he's been pretty quiet about it. Uh, but that's Eminem because he seems to keep everything in a tight lock and for all we know Eminem could announce tomorrow that his album is dropping this summer. But based on Eminem's history of his, you know, releases, uh, it's almost an even split. You know, we have half of them releasing in the month of May and then we have the other half being released in November and I believe there was one that released, uh, I think it was in February. Uh, now obviously this late I think we won't be seeing the release for May. But, you know, perhaps November will be the next option. Uh, it sure would help both sides if GameStop released the new Call of Duty game with Eminem's new album. Just, you know, just as a bonus, like Call of Duty Ghost. But this is an all hypothetical, but there are, you know, some facts there. We'll just have to sit back and wait and see, you know, what the rap god has planned. Uh, what do you, so what do you guys think about this? Um, I would love to hear your, you know, your input on opinion or if this is all just kind of, you know, out there and not possible. Uh, stay tuned as I will post an update on another video if we get any more information when it comes closer to E3 and Call of Duty, more of Call of Duty World at War's reveal. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys on the next video.